Thanks for tuning in to watch the third installment of my book reviews. Uh, now the first thing that comes to our mind when we hear the name Stephen Hawking is a paralyzed man sitting on a wheelchair talking in a synthesized voice. Stephen Hawking was diagnosed with a condition known as motor neuron disease which is also known as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis which simply put is ALS. Yes, the same ALS which became very famous when uh, the ice bucket challenge went viral across the globe. Uh, Stephen Hawking was diagnosed with this disease at the age of 21 and was given only two years to live by the doctors. Uh, now, people who are diagnosed with this disease, 50% of them are not able to make it beyond three years and hardly two or three percent of the population is able to outlive the disease for more than two decades. But Stephen Hawking, for all his divinity, was able to battle and survive this condition for 57 years during which he not only married twice, but also had three children and became one of the most renowned theoretical physicists or the most popular scientist of our time. So popular that he is referred to as the Albert Einstein of our generation. Now the coincidence between the two uh, or the similarities between the two scientists was such that both had an IQ of 160 and Stephen Hawking died on the same day as uh, Albert Einstein was born on. It is definitely and truly an inspirational story which inspires a lot of people across the globe and that is why I thought it would be a good idea to review one of his books I had a chance to read. So the book that I would be reviewing today is called Theory of Everything. Now this book is a collection of various lectures given by Stephen Hawking on cosmology in which he has tried to simplify the extremely com complex mathematical ideas and principles behind the, the theories of Big Bang which is the origin and the fate of the universe, uh, black holes and also space time. He has introduced the reader to uh, some of the works by great scientists in the history which include Aristotle, Albert Einstein, Hubble, Newton and Chandrasekhar and their works on universe which has helped us uh, come this far in unraveling the mysteries that are held by the entire space. Uh, coming to the book itself, thankfully it is not bulky and it is not tedious at all. Uh, if it would have been a little more bulky than this, it would have been a negative factor for the reader because it has a lot of technical terms and technical jargons used which definitely are time taking for somebody who is not from a science background that includes me. I had to read many lectures, many chapters multiple times and also do a lot of googling to be able to understand the perspective that Stephen Hawking has tried to convey. Although he has simplified the book probably in a large sense but then it still requires a little bit of an effort on the part of the reader to understand the, the concepts that have been spoken about. Uh, since I was a non-science background person, I really found most of the content to be from a science fiction movie. And actually thanks to this book, I was able to relate, understand and appreciate the movie Interstellar in a much better fashion because I had read this book previously. Uh, the uh, movie Interstellar is almost based on the same uh, concepts or the same principles which are spoken about in this book. And that is why I would definitely recommend it to anybody to pick this book up and it would require a little bit of an effort but you will be introduced to a lot of con uh, concepts about our ever expanding universe, the perceptions about black holes and you will get a lot of insights in probably what is the future of our universe. Now if I had to rate this book, I would probably give it a rating of 3.5 on 5 uh, because it is a little difficult to read and it is not as smooth. You will be ebbed at many places for the want of trying to understand the concept in a better fashion. But then thanks and kudos to the legendary Sir Stephen Hawking for having uh, helped or having given so much to the society and so much to the cosmological world uh, which has helped us leap quantum steps, which has helped us take quantum steps in resolving the mysteries of the universe. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this edition of my book review. If you like it, please hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the video so that I get encouraged to keep coming back to you with more such reviews. Thanks a lot for watching and have a good day.